drug addiction in the city increased by 38%. Moonlight Soccer Stadium hosts concert in honor of City Day. Ruben Novik. Or Ru yeah, Ruben Novik. Casino owner, we keep the nut jobs out. Is everybody still in good standing? <laughs> My son was in a car accident. The doctors are fighting for. Yes. I drank too. <laughs> My new recruit. We're gonna fire him. That's unfortunate. Hate having to fire officers, but can't be doing that. Let's see how the labor market looks. Hundred funeral for him. Good. You're being fired. And I guess I'll bring her. It's kind of unfortunate. We're gonna send Vasquez to the academy. today. Crying hysterically, she reported that a neighbor spent the last few days constantly using a power drill beside himself with that constant noise. Her husband, Derek, went to investigate. He and a neighbor quickly fell to blows, and Mrs. Lynn's husband received a stomach injury from the man's power drill. Derek Lynn was able to return home and lock the door, but their neighbor is currently breaking their house and screaming like a lunatic. The frightened woman cried and pleaded into the headset. There were rumors that the man spent some time in the nut house. I'm afraid the rumors are true. Robbins, Vandal. Moguls and Cosby. Students running to telephone booths and tearing out the receivers. I think they're coming competing to see who can steal more of them. They put the receivers in bags and ran away. Okay. Kino and Silk. Vic is farting. Jack Port Security pulled our truck over and doesn't want to deal. We don't want an extra noise. Send your guys over to sort out the situation. Another, I swear. Come on, come on. There you go. A family walked down to the beach and noticed that a few surfers were gathering in the water, aggressively arguing with each other. Look, they're about to fight. It's always the beach, too. What the hell? Five eleven in progress. 
Numerous witnesses report that two big black SUVs are facing off the center of the city. Armed men exit. The vehicles start firing at each other. All right. Send everybody. Two girls on their way home from a club saw a creepy male figure standing in the doorway. We ran away quick, but we were afraid he'll get someone else. Police are having difficulty crossing deep sand on the surface already thrashing each other's waters. The servers are covered in butter, they slip through the policeman's hands and escape the water with their boards. Don't have any backup at the moment. Found guns. We'll sell it this time. Five ten in progress. Twelve ten complete. The clothing store next door had left an old mannequin in the doorway. Shots rang out of the school dance in the gym, and one of the teachers fell to the floor with the hole in his stomach. Panic descended as the crowd rushed the exits. Nobody knows who fired the shot or what's going on. Said one hysterical schoolgirl who witnessed the shooting. Kenya Anderson was the one who called it in. There was an older man smoking on the street, and two young men walked up and asked for a cigarette. The man said he didn't smoke, and a fight broke out. The old man managed to fend off his attackers until one of them pulled a knife and stuck the man in the chest. The perps disappeared behind the nearby green door. A red-handed hot dog started tried to help him, but it was too late. A few onlookers are gathered around the crime scene. A red-headed man in white clothes is bent over the body and is doing something with it. A young man runs up and says the attackers already fled. One of them she knew it was her neighbor from apartment 207. All the walls of the second floor are painted with strange symbols. The decorations converge around apartment 205. Analysts, most contraband passes through dockyard, beauty contestant breaks leg, beat busters dance studio organizers, organized performance near corn monument.
I was up all night reading an exciting detective score. You can... I drank too much. Ugh. Another one. No. 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 We need our officers. Salary, affairs. Don't have anybody in the labor market, so I don't want to get rid of him just yet. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we need to increase. Next five days, we'll increase our shift B. Then we'll increase detectives because we need more. Solve this once and for all. There it is. Bob Lawrence unemployed previous convicted of burglary. Spot. Bob Lawrence lives in an old apartment he inherited from his father. Kind of glad that we reopened the case to get that done. Start to interrogate and. 35, male, physically very strong, healthy, has asthma, chronic, born to poor family of immigrants from Scotland, he grew up with four brothers, he quit school in the 8th grade, and instead picked street boxing. It wasn't long before he was making a good living from illegal fights. By the time he reached 18, he already had over 10 arrests, so his name for various offenses, including fighting, robbery, and general hooliganism. The attitude towards the law got even worse after the entire family was killed in a fire. Age family was sentenced to six years in prison, where he regularly found himself in the sorry state fire for getting to fights. During an era with the parole board, O'Toole said that he couldn't control himself once someone called him and, oh, and had to punish them. By the time he was 25, he nearly killed four prisoners for stabbing his cellmate, an open homosexual named Jan Valesek. Conan Conal O'Toole regularly goes to brothels, but what exactly does he do? He does there is unknown. A prostitute from Eastern Europe arrested during one of the police raids. He said the Scotsman isn't interested in girls, but he'd like to meet with a black Jamaican. Overall, he's an angry, short-tempered man and is very unsure of himself and sees traitors everywhere. Huh. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Let's we won't talk. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Jigaboo Bustamante. <laughs> that Vargo whore, I'll kill the looking that pussy. <laughs> oh man. <coughs> New product. He's no saint. Well, we got the confession out of him, which is good. Using the profile, we provoked him. Samuel Bustamante is no saint. He's the one responsible for importing women from Eastern Europe to work in Vargas whorehouses. He's a cowardly and mean son of a bitch, and he's never heard of loyalty. Time to start investigating. Ames and Anderson. During the night, a tugboat in the river caught fire and drifted to port. There were dozens of women on board, all of them dead, killed, and locked in the hold. A middle school student locked herself in the chemistry teacher's office and is loudly threatening to mix herself a lethal cocktail and drink it. The teachers are afraid to break down the door and report that the girl has shown unstable behavior in the past according to one of the girl's classmates. I think someone broke her heart, but I don't know the details. 
Huh. No, we won't fire fire Gilbert. We'll keep him. What we will do though is we'll have him go to the academy. Investigation has started. We patrolled the coast and noticed a tug with its navigation lights turned off. But when we went to intercept, the weather started getting worse. The wind rose up and it started raining. Visibility dropped to zero and we lost sight of the tug until it caught fire. We put it out and the tow towed the vessel ashore. That's when we found the, the girls locked in the hold. They were all dead. The victims were all women under 30. They were killed by carbon monoxide poisoning. Some had bloody and broken hands. Apparently, they tried to break down the door. Maybe after the fire started. There are also some traces of drugs in their bodies. Some kidnappers prefer to keep their captives in a semi-conscious state. Evidence found at the scene and the nature of fire all clear indicate that it was arson. Mass fire erupted from diesel fuel spilled on the deck of the tug. We found an abandoned blue inflatable boat battered by the storm and washed them on shore. I was out on the night shift and the weather was just like a fairy tale, thunder, lightning, high waves, like the sign rising of the abyss. Come to punish us mortals. I was on land, I was. But on my knees were still shaking, then I saw a star falling from the sky. It rose out of darkness and the sea where it had fallen and a great flame rose from the water and in the darkness saw the vessel outlined on fire. Hell, ruthless sea god, your terrible beauty. Look at that, everybody. And the mayor wanted me to get rid of my detectives. Shameful. We didn't do that, did that, didn't do these two. Got rid of this. This is done, we didn't do these two. That was finished. They quit. Which sucks because these. Yeah. Didn't do that. Cop hunt. Didn't do that. Okay. Not bad. Statistics. Looking good. 204 to 26. That's not bad, right? 26 out of 204, so uh, not too bad. Eighty-eight percent crime solved. It's pretty good. Jaguar's thing going on down at the pawn shop at 1639. We wouldn't want any policemen crashing the party. I think four down should be enough. Alright, so 1639. A saleswoman in a clothing store called to report a theft. A girl exited the dressing room wearing four t-shirts and made quick leave for the exit. The scanner the store entrance sounded its alarm, but the thief managed to slip through and ran into the street. Alright. A cashier starts learning when a customer asks her to show him her ID or he wouldn't sell her a bottle of wine. He didn't call the police insisting that it must be a fake ID. She's just going to be 35 years old. I'll give her 29 tops. Alright.
Brad Gilbert was killed in a car accident, according to preliminary reports. It appears he was drunk. We have something going down at St. John's Hospital at 1800. We wouldn't want any police. Okay. 1639 and 1800. 911. Well, at least we don't have to fire him. <laughs> oh, the woman's ID was legitimate. That's good. Sixteen thirty-nine. Yeah, we're not gonna touch that. How's the labor market looking? Still nothing. Okay. Transfer. Actually, now we'll keep it this way. Nine eleven in progress. Oh, those are the two that he doesn't want me to clear. Okay. A van approached the bank just as it was closing. Three masked men jumped down and quickly opened the door and disappeared inside. Witness Betty Davis immediately called the police. She thought the criminals might be armed, but she wasn't sure. All right. Elderly men sitting on a bench in the park playing strip poker. Five people already called in to file a complaint. I've never seen anything more disgusting in my life. <laughs> Looks like we have a One man victoriously here. jumps in his feet, throws his cards on the bench, turns his bare ass toward the playground, and shouts, Ha! I won! Vela, Murata, Chavez, and Cl Wow. Damn. <sighs> You've been with me for the longest. And Chavez, no. This is not looking good. Shift B is hurting. Oh, man. That is so bad. Yeah, we will get to that at another point in time. This is... Wow. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five officers. Okay, now we really have to transfer you to shift B. Transfer. Let's do... Silk to shift B. Do Vasquez the shift B as well. <sighs> That's not good.
Martin? What happened? We've got him, Jack. We got our guy. I'm on my way. Well, what's the situation? Two things. First of all, our guy isn't a guy. What? She's over six feet tall. She's so strong it took three guys to take her down and she wasn't even putting up a fight. If she had a mind to cause trouble, we would have needed a tank. Second, she's not saying a word. Nothing at all. When we took her down, she was packing her drill in her bag and going out somewhere. The clues in her trailer, they were... Well, there's not a lot of room for doubt. There's a lot of evidence. I'm going in. Be careful. I'll bet she could snap those handcuffs if she wanted. There's no doubt this is the woman who's been killing women across Freeburg. But it's not the dentist sitting in front of me. Either she began killing at the tender age of four, or someone's playing games with us. A game I don't yet see. But this woman knows more than I do. Shame that her eyes are so empty. She's not gonna answer my questions. At least not today. She's finished her bloody job, but she's working for someone else. Not hard to guess who's behind this. So fast? She say something? She's not gonna tell us anything, Martin. I'm going home, get a couple more hours sleep. One of the nice things about the world going to hell, everyone's secrets are quickly revealed. Who has time for secrets these days? Huh. All right, we'll end it there, folks. Uh, I do apologize that I was unable to finish that uh, that fourth dentist uh, case. I didn't have the detectives to uh, do it, um, and when we were solving it, I wasn't able to uh, read everything because I just assumed that those were the right order. Um, but other than that, uh, things went pretty quickly. We solved a lot of investigations. However, we did lose a lot of cops this uh, this episode. <laughs> but until next time, catch you later.